Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Slavi, where we make cards and other paper crafts. In today's card video, you guessed it, we're making these cards. And yes, that last one does say happy birthday. I thought this would be a really nice way to finish off the holiday card series. As I'm sure you do, I definitely have some birthdays um, in the month of December. And I thought it would be nice to create a couple cards to uh, be able to distribute. <laughs> so I have um, Gamma Green Nina paper here, which I have um, used a little bit of removable adhesive to attach to my Make Art Station. This is the mini. I like it because you can move it around. And I'm using the gold paste from Lawn Fawn to uh, do this nice stenciling. And um, I have to say, I used Pixie Spray to adhere the stencil, which is from my favorite things, and I think it's called Ray of Light. Um, it's linked down below, just in case I got it wrong. And um, you can see how the paper actually came up there on the right, but it's okay because this is just gonna be a background for the Flippy Flappy from Lawn Fawn. So then moving on, this is a piece of cardstock in the color Lunar Blue, also from Nina. And I cut it out using the small stitched rectangle stackables, the largest one of them. And I'm using my snowflake background stencils from Lawn Fawn. And this is the one that in a previous video I used for my Glitz Glitter Gel, which was super duper dry. So you can see that I didn't get it quite as clean as I could have because the Glitz Glitter Gel dried on top of my stencil more than it should have. Um, <clears throat> I was able to get it clean using one of those scrubbies that you use for your dishes. So, I mean, it's kind of okay, but I am definitely considering replacing the stencils. So don't be me. <laughs> Make sure you don't use dried out glitz glitter gel on your stencils, because you will regret it. Um, as for the pastes, the previous one I used was also from Lawn Fawn. So all three of them are from Lawn Fawn. The previous one was white, this one is silver. And I just really wanted a bit of a subtle background, but again with the sparkle. I just think that if you're going to make holiday cards, um, you have to have sparkle. I don't know what it is. It must be a December thing. Um, so I'm using my spatula and then scraping off any excess. And look at how pretty that is. But you can definitely tell where um, the previous stencil left a little bit of a mark. <laughs> All right, so this is another piece of uh, paper that I cut out using this, the largest of the small stitched rectangle stackables from Lawn Fawn, which perfectly coordinates with the flippy flappy. And I'm using my bone folder to fold this down. Now, my process for when I'm using a new interactive die, I don't know about yours, is to watch the introduction video again from Lawn Fawn and kind of follow along as I'm doing it. So one of the mistakes that I made is I actually cut this these components out of 80 pound cardstock and they say you should use a minimum of 100. I highly recommend you do this. Um, that was me, so the, the gamma green there and the white, so it's 80 pound for the white and 65 for the gamma green. So that's how I reinforced the tab. But I really should have cut out the rest of these components out of that same 100 pound cardstock. I think it would have worked a lot better. And I ended up actually adding additional paper later on, which I'll talk about um, in a little bit. So I'll leave you to watch the coloring. There's not too much of it, and I will be right back.
Yeah, you saw that right. I'm starting to incorporate one white pencil lines into my coloring. I just love it. It's so cute. So I uh, lost the footage or misplaced it somewhere. And it was just me attaching those panels with the gold paste onto um, the same green, gamma green um, card bases. And I've just started assembly on the flippy flappy. So I didn't put much stock into putting the front and back on um, the flippy flappy mechanism. And then I did that. <laughs> if you've seen the assembly video, yeah, it's supposed to go on the other side. <laughs> so definitely do yourself a favor and mark it as front and back so you don't make the mistake I did and, you know, potentially get a lot farther than I did. And then I put liquid adhesive on the front of this um, panel and I attached my decorative panel on top of that. And um, I use liquid adhesive for all of this. Um, if I were to do it again, I don't know if I would use liquid adhesive for it all. I think maybe, you know, practice makes perfect. So it might be fine in the future. But I actually found that the, um, the mechanism stuck quite a bit. But again, that could be the paper that I used. So definitely room for improvement with the flippy flappy. And even these uh, gift card holders, I cut them out of 80 pound cardstock and I went back and I actually added a second one um, because it kept getting stuck and I don't know, I don't know if it was the liquid adhesive or what it was, but I just felt like as a card maker, you know when you make cards and you're like, oh, this is a great card, it's beautiful, I'm so proud to give it out. It wasn't my best work um, and I just really want to uh, do so many things differently in the future. And of course I can't make cards now without adding glitter. <laughs> so much glitter! Um, so things that I would change. I would, I think that instead of using paste on the background background panel, the one with the gold and green, I think I would probably just do heat embossing. It'll be easier. It won't be so bulky. I think that was part of my problem is that the mechanism kept getting, kept getting stuck on it because there's quite a bit. And um, I think definitely the heavier cardstock will do a world of good for me. Okay, so a little bit about the hillside here. This is actually a Sizzix paper that's been in my stash for a while. Unfortunately, it's no longer in stock, but you could use um, Lawn Fawn's pixie dust paper which is like a glitter paper and that would also be beautiful and same with uh, these sentiments the silver paper that they're cut out of um, it's the giant happy birthday to you and the giant merry Christmas um, <clears throat> oh and I forgot to say it this is I think it's hmm, I don't remember <laughs> the dog um, stamp set I think it's merry and bright but I'm pretty sure it's not so I will link it below and you can go check it out. And then because of the size of the sentiments, I actually ended up arranging the dogs around the sentiments in a slightly different way. So I will show that in here. Um, <clears throat> but by all means, check out what you have in your stash for, um, you know, cutting out these sentiments. And the Sizzix paper cuts out like a dream. It was really great to work with. And I didn't put any dimension on the front of these cards. I should also mention that because I didn't want anything impeding the mechanism. So I just adhered everything flat using liquid glue. And um, I created imaginary dimension just by offsetting the sentiment a little bit from a white sentiment, which is just regular 80 pound card stock, just like everything else on the card. And I adhered that directly to the card, again, using liquid glue because we've got quite a bit of texture on there and I wanted to make sure that it all stuck down properly and didn't um, get any lift if it was just uh, like a dry adhesive. Oh, and pardon me for the sound of my voice. I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. <laughs> I'm hanging tough though. It'll be okay. Um, and then, yeah, so there's all the pups. I just love them. I think they're so cute. The card turned out great. I made a bit of a boo-boo in my first one. It wasn't quite dry. So this was my solution. I actually took out liquid pearls in ivory and silver. So the, the dark ones, which almost look black, they're actually silver. And I put those on some of the, the paste 
things that came out and it just ended up working out really well it hid what I needed it to hide and um, yeah so if you ever make a mistake you know don't throw away the card and just uh, keep working it you got this see you in the next one